when the two notes of an interval are only one letter apart from each other, as with the notes D and E, or B and C, we call that an interval of a second. An interval of a second is any interval which spans two positions on the staff. Now, depending upon the amount of half steps separating each note, an interval of a second can be either major or minor. For example, an interval of a minor second occurs when two notes are separated by the distance of only one half step. Some examples of minor second intervals would include the notes B and C, G sharp and A, D and E flat, or any other group of two notes which are separated by only one half step. On the other hand, an interval of a major second occurs when two notes are separated by the distance of two consecutive half steps, or one whole step. Some examples of major second intervals would include the notes F and G, C sharp and D sharp, A flat and B flat, or any other group of two notes which are separated by one whole step. Recognizing intervals of a second on the staff can be relatively simple. Because they are only one step apart from each other, whether it be a half step for minor second intervals or a whole step for major second intervals, intervals of a second on the staff always go from either a line directly to the next space above or below it, or from a space directly to the next line above or below it. It is up to the performer to determine whether the distance separating each note is a minor second interval, a half step, or a major second interval, a whole step. In the next video, we are going to learn about an interval of a third. We will discuss how, like an interval of a second, an interval of a third can also be either major or minor.